What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and today I'm joined by Dolan. Say hello, Dolan. Howdy. And Tidmouth. Say hi, Tidmouth. Hello. So Tidmouth actually comes to, to us from the UK, right? Yes. Awesome. And Whoa it is away. currently half past five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 9.30 here. So uh, today is a kind of a interesting it episode. Is. So, uh, we know that the Spline Ape update is coming pretty soon. We know that it's probably going to kill this world, at least in beta. So before that happens, I kind of want to go down memory row, memory lane, and just tour the entire uh, Ramblin' Railroad as we have it built now. So, But I also want to be productive. So I got Lightning over here, and it's hooked up to 12 log cars, as you can see. We're going to take those up to the to the logging camp. And we got Maverick. He's got these five cordwood cars. And we're going to follow behind Lightning and, and uh, get some cordwood, take to the smelter. We're going to go to the sawmill. We're going to go to the iron mine. We're going to go to the coal mine. We're going to go all over the place. Not in this episode, but you know, we're, we'll eventually hit up every in industry and haul every product. So I think Dolan just jumped in uh, Lightning. And I believe your switches are set, Dolan, if you want to head out. And Tidmouth and I will take uh, Maverick here. Tidmouth, if you want to drive, I'll get your switches, and uh, we'll get out of here. Sure. Oh, I just jumped straight over Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any brakes set on these wagons? I don't think so. It is 12 cars, and you're going to have a hard time with that 3%, even unloaded. But uh, it's untested. I am, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to do it. We're going to find out, but we got Maverick coming up behind you, so hopefully uh, we can give you a little push if need be. I'm really hoping this flying update will make sure that this popping stops. Yeah, me too. That's really annoying. At first it was kind of fun and unique, but after playing for a while, it's like, I just want it to stop. I just thought I should probably join your company as well while I think about it. Yes, please. <laughs> I can't, can't jump on the train. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other issue as well. I can't, I can't see how fast <laughs> I'm actually going because it's just bumping about all over the place. Yeah. Well, you're going really slow, so go ahead and give it the wide open throttle we got a long ways to go in the straight track here so I think I think the Eureka should be able to pull 12 log cars up a uh, up a three percent. I mean, it was able to do uh, a 2.8 percent. Well, last time I checked the calculations, it was it, it either it just barely could do it or it could could just barely not do it. So, and that's obviously on a straight track. So, and that's got a little bit of a curve to it. I don't know. We'll see. You should be clear, that, almost to the top, right? Oh, yeah, I'm almost here. Okay. Well, if you got up there, then it's all downhill from there. <laughs> Probably going to need some advanced warning when to slow down. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you'll see it. It's pretty open up here. Well, that's good news, Dolan, because that was actually untested. I haven't taken lightning with those empty cars up that grade yet. And you just did it for the first time, so yay, that works. I'm glad it does, because honestly, I was I would be surprised if it didn't work. I mean, a slope that that way, my entire uh, route up to the logging camp is curved. So like, if my Eureka can do 17 cars. 
unloaded and do it just fine, I think, yeah, it it should definitely be able to pull at least 12 cars up a 3%. Plus, most of mine's bridge. Most of my curve is, like, uh, bridge work. Hill, hilly curve is bridge. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dead Myth, you probably want to start slowing it's down. It's a lot high, you, like... If you haven't noticed that yet, we're coming into yeah, the corridor here. Yeah, we're taking here. off the rig. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Dolan. Yeah, but it's just like, I would have been really surprised if Lightning couldn't pull the train. That's cool. Two trains coming in at once. <laughs> Alright, Tidmouth. I don't know how well you can see this, so... We got one car. No, I overshot it. I broke a little early. Half car. Little, little more, little more. Quarter, quarter car forward. And there's good. One thing I'd really like for them to have is like the ability to upgrade the uh, the loading facilities because yeah. these cranes are so slow. <laughs> I'm guessing the no, uh, the cordwood's loaded. Yep, cordwood's yes. loaded. We will get you loaded up here. You just want to hang out in the locomotive or come back here and jump up and down, supervise us. <laughs> are the switches set to come out of the they are except for the ones going to the sawmill which I'll get here in just a second I have the uh, extension open so I'll just do it remotely alrighty hooray cheating <laughs> we never said we couldn't do it I mean they advertised railroads online extended in the discord server let's be real here guys <laughs> Ice has never used it himself, and he says he, he he says he will at some point, but he never will. I know he won't. Well, that's something I I can't stand. Fair, the devs have probably got their own like set of tools built in that oh, they can sure. just use. So. I don't I don't like cheating. If I'm going to play the game, I'm going to play it you know accurately. I pride myself on trying to be as realistic as possible in my gameplay, even when I'm not recording. Right, just oh, a yeah, personal absolutely. thing. So I was really on the fence about using it at all, but it's such a helpful tool. So, all right, you're loaded. If you need to pull forward two more cars, please. All right. I usually only use the fast run. I guess that's a quote-unquote cheat, but I only use the fast run just because it makes everything easier. I'm not... One car. Half car. Full stop. On stop. Stop. <laughs> Alright, are we yeah, good? You're, yeah, you're still good. Oh, that was in sync. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> How many cars we got left? Uh, two more after these two. So four okay. total. So, alrighty. Half car. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> One car. <laughs> now a half a car. And stop. One, if one, you can. Stop. 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 <laughs> I think we're still good. We'll find out here. It's not too bad at the logging camp because it's all just free anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. The only <laughs> thing we've got to worry about is losing 26 barrels again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tidmouth, I don't know if you watched that episode with, uh, that... that we did, but... we lost 26 barrels that day. It was the day of the great oil escapade, and we just didn't. Yeah, just Dolan screwed it. up, but... 
<laughs> okay, listen, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> no, it was it just wasn't the fact it wouldn't load. It was, yeah, it was just a glitch or whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, right now we're sitting at uh, yeah, twenty-three thousand nine hundred twenty-nine dollars, so we're we're good for money. <laughs> Like this log train, what, 12 cars? Yeah. You're looking at. It's 60 car. It's $60 per car. You've got. Last log's going on. Alright, we good to go? Uh, not yet. And now you are. All right. Six times twelve, that's seventy-two, and you're getting sixty per car. So twelve times twelve times sixty—that's seven twenty. Yeah, you're getting seven hundred and twenty dollars just from this train alone. Woohoo! If I remember correctly, sixty times seventeen—that's that's how many cars I pulled. If 12 times 60 is 720, and then you've got 780, 840, 900, 960, a, a thousand twenty roughly is what I'm making per train. Nice. Twelve hundred dollars maybe. Or yeah, roughly one thousand two hundred or one thousand twenty. I had no clue. If I had my phone over here, I'd just calculate it, but I don't. Hey Alexa, <laughs> what is 60 times 17? Yep, it's 1,020. <laughs> Shout out to everybody watching the video whose yeah. Alexa's just went off. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dolan, Dolan knows what's up, guys. I know you. I, I knew you secretly had an Alexa, and I triggered it. <laughs> This has gone on for the third time now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hitmith, if you want to stop on the bridge right before the sawmill, uh, that way we can get this train offloaded and out of your way. It'll make uh, sense when I'm you get there. I'm just going to the Y. Do you want me to stop here or keep going? No, keep going. You just stop at the bridge uh, <laughs> after the Y. And if you want to slow right, down yeah, a little yeah. bit, Dolan, I see you just popped up on that car. Mm. Going a little hot. I'll start unloading us here. And I'm hoping within the next like month, two months, actually I'm gonna say within the next three weeks or so, I'm hoping to have another computer. Nice. Oh no. What? If we, not another computer, parts to make one better. We have a car that got partially unloaded. Can we back up four cars? That How was did weird. they get partially unloaded? I don't know. There's five cars. There are five logs sitting on this car in front of me. I know. I'm looking at it here. <laughs> what? How is that yeah, possible? Tidmouth right there if you want to go ahead and jam on the brakes. Yeah. Oh, right All at the right. switch. Perfect. A little further. A little more, Dolan. Right there is good. That'll get it in the water. All right. Now just go ahead and pull forward, Dolan, and I'll flip the switch for Tidmouth. Okay, so now we have a decision to make. A uh, couple things. One, uh, we left Stout, which is the little shunter engine, switching engine, on the on the main line, 
over here at the top of the hill. So we have Maverick here with the cordwood that needs to go down to the smelter. And unfortunately, Stout is in the way. We have Lightning here that basically is useless at this point. So we also need to get a load of lumber products to take up to the iron mine. So what I'm thinking is, well, how, how do you want to do this? Um, we should have Stout take the cordwood cars down. Well, Maverick can take the cordwood cars down. And then... Uh, That's not a problem. We just got to get... I just got to move Stout off the main line. Either bring him all the way here, or just reverse him all the way down to the where he belongs. But what I'm thinking is that, Dolan, if you could take... This might work. Dolan, do you want to take Lightning back to the uh, freight depot and get Beast with 12... Uh, flat state cars, the 200 series, and load them up evenly with uh, lumber and beams here. And I'll ride with... Uh, mm -hmm. Do you, do you want to do 12 or 14? Because I know Beast could take 14. You think so? 12, 12 is pretty pretty well, hard on it. Beast. Let, let's just stick with 12. Just, I, I know I've lugged down so much yeah. on that hill. So let's just take 12. And I'll go with Tidmouth down right. to the smelter station, and I'll grab Stout on the way there. And uh, we'll get these sorted out and unloaded down there. Does that work for everybody? Yeah. And then we'll just be... Yeah, is my switch just yeah. set to go? Uh, not yet. As soon as um, Tidmouth starts moving, I'll be able to sw set your sw switches. That's interesting. <laughs> It lags and I'm trying to drag the, the slider. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on my end, that was like perfect timing. Like it was all perfect. <laughs> okay, your switches should be set. I put you in one of the lanes uh, on the. You'll you'll ride the the circle around the the train houses, and go into the number one lane. Yeah. And then if you just want to get a bunch of those twelve of those flat state cars and get them back over here, and by that point we should be back. I'm hoping we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all then. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty, I'm on board. Okay, we gotta start slowing down. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I can see him. Yeah. Get on you. Hey, I'm being pushed. <laughs> Alright. Go break off. Reverse her forward. Open it up. Try to keep up. For a bit, we're gonna have like the weirdest double header, just a tiny little engine at the front of this yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like these little locomotives, they're kind of fun, but they're so loud, I don't like the, the audio from these in-game Yeah, like the, the squeaking of the wheels constantly. <laughs> yeah, and it's just... Uh, 
It's not really a One thing I do like about the portals though is it's if you're if you're not like well, you wouldn't be locked in anyway, but like when you're loading the firewood you can just look into the top of the firebox with DNA to open the door. Yeah. <laughs> Many hours were spent working on this bridge right here, going down. And I don't know how long you've been watching Tidmouth, but this is actually version two of the bridge. The first one was moved over to the left just a little bit. And it was garbage. Yeah, I can sort of see like the gap in the tree line. Yeah. I said before recording, my map's basically a carbon copy of this one. Uh, I've just tried to limit the grades in places and sort of be a bit aesthetic because I'm a nitpicker for that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to be nitpicky for that kind of thing. I, I mean, it's it's got to look well and function well and uh, function over aesthetics, but it, it's got to look good too. So I spent many hours straightening out track and like I said in my I think like first or second episode ever that this game defies the the insanity law you know rule where you do the same thing over and over again expecting different results in this game you do the same thing over and over again you get the you know a different result every time <laughs> you know? oh Yeah, it's slightly unrealistic, but I would like them to add some sort of snapping tools, especially for like the groundwork. Yeah, I believe that's like, going to be coming. Line it up perfectly in the center every single time. <laughs> I believe that's going to be coming with the spline update. So that's that'll that'll make it nice, a little bit easier to make good tr good looking track, and it'll s snap to the grid. So that'll that'll be nice too. And there goes my frames. I'm down to 10. Yay. And I see a giant locomotive bearing down on me. I can't go any faster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, fear has existed. <laughs> when you just see the ro this locomotive running towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it have to end this way? <laughs> like having a, an escort into the uh, I know, thing right? Here. <laughs> I feel like someone's following me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to go into this lane right here. We'll just offload these cars. And uh, we'll take Maverick back up to the sawmill. Gotta say, I, I think I said in the comments on, on one of your videos, I, I love this massive rail yard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I really enjoy this this rail yard too. And it's a it's a hoot to build. But uh, if you just want to stop right there, but it just kills the frames my frames. Is what kills it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll tie um, your brakes up. Evil One, did you ever discuss what graphics card you had in your computer? Um, 
Yes, I've looked it up a few times. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember what it is, but give me one second and I'll look at look it up. Display adapters, there it is. Gosh. Yeah, it's the 1080, the, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. The 1080 is a good card, though. Oh, it's a very good card. I paid a lot of money for this card. And it was uh, an upgrade I did to I'm it probably three years ago. So... For three years, it's still a really good graphics card. Yeah. Oh, I bought it from a friend of mine used. So it's not brand spanking, but it's it's pretty new. Oh, well, newer. It's newer than the rest of my computer anyway. Uh, how much RAM do you have in your computer? If you know I got 12 of gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I think this game is definitely deserving of at least 32. Mainly because I think that's how much it needs. Because Unreal Engine games, they they use a lot of RAM. Um, Railroad Online, and fun fact, there's one other Unreal Engine game that a lot of people know of, and it's a very popular Unreal Engine game. That is... I'm pretty sure that is Fortnite. Fortnite's the Unreal Engine game. Also, yeah, it's, it's insane. Also, where is all the state cars? I don't only see. I think four. a lot of them are in the Mountain Valley Rail Yard. You know what? If you want to go ahead and set my switches to the Mountain Valley Rail Yard, I'll just take beasts and I'll just go collect them. Okay, give me one second, and I'll make that happen for you. I'm parking stout right now. Let's see, we are good to go. Tidmouth, if we want to boogie out of here. Sure. I usually don't set all the brakes, and the mainly and the mainly the reason is because I just don't want to have to take off all the car brakes on the train. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's so almost do, like an OCD thing with me. Like, it's just so easy for me to set all the brakes and turn them all off. I, I, when I first started playing this, I accidentally left brakes turned off completely. And I ran in full speed. I didn't know the controls very well. And I ran full speed uh, into one of the cars that had rolled out onto the main line and cause a big derailment and everything. I'm like, I just set all the brakes, you know, on all the cars, doesn't matter. <laughs> I had an accident with a whole bunch of cars recently. Uh, they just started rolling away and I was like, where are you going? <laughs> Why are you just rolling away? Alrighty. All right, Tidmouth, we're gonna stop right up here. Um, I'll tell you when to hit the brakes. We're basically going to take this second switch off to the right and stop there. I think that's a good spot to park this locomotive for a little while. Kind of out of the way. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. So B should be coming down this main line anytime. Driven by Dolan. We're going to fill up with some lumber products here at the sawmill. And uh, take them up to the iron mine. Oh, there you are. I see you.
You like to live dangerously, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> if you don't live life to the fullest, <laughs> then you aren't living life. So we'll load these first six cars with the lumber and then the last one with the beams. There's Tidmouth up on the roof. Very nice. <laughs> you want to go Buckle. ahead and uh, switch that track up ahead? Yep. Good call. <laughs> go ahead and switch it, and then go. I'll move forward some more. Yeah, about half a car or so, three-quarter car. I'm, ju I'm just barely rolling. I'm just using momentum to move. Yeah. Half a car. And stop there. Perfect. I should probably save. It's been a while since I've saved. There we go. It's one, two, three, four, five. Bummer. Two cars. One car. Half car. Stop. All right, last one going on. Are we good? Yeah, let me save it again. Just for funsies. And we are good. If you want to drive. Right, we're all loaded up now and we're going to head up to the iron mine. We'll get these offloaded and we'll call it an episode there. How's the uh, popping and stuttering and stuff? Is it bad? Actually, it's slimmed out just a little bit. That's good. And now as I say that, the tender does a somersault. thinking about making a, a like a section of a map or you know a, a different save file of just ridiculous you know stuff to do fun stuff on like a one of those big old helixes and and ride like a you know a flat car down or a caboose down or something just for fun build like a, a hot wheels playset but with railroads online exactly <laughs>
Yeah, hit, keep on that regulator, because uh, we're coming to a stop here, aren't we? We're still going. We just got to get around this curve, and we'll be there. Ugh. Struggling. Uh-oh. All right, I'm cutting this. Check to see if there's a break. No, we're good. Check for breaks first. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, uh, throw a break on. Yeah, I was gonna say, we probably should have breaks on now. <laughs> so, I cut the last two free. Go ahead and give it, give it everything, and we'll see if we can go. I'll come back and get these two later. Push them up or oh, something. Oh, I was just running off to get Maverick to shunt them up, but... Oh, no, it's all right. Oh. But now you're way down there. <laughs> yep, I, <laughs> I kind of fell off. Um, shoot. Well, it's up to you. If you want to go get Maverick and push them, the switches are all set. You might go switch a couple of them at... Uh, by the time you get there, though, we'll be done with the episode. Yeah, I might as well just walk, walk up to the top, so... That must be one of those things where you were saying yesterday, Dolan, about the client driving isn't as powerful or something as, a, as the host. I, yeah. I've, I've done this like, exact load up here countless times, and I've never stalled. I've come close, but I never actually stalled out. And my reg's been on, uh... Has been on, uh, has been the same since we left, uh, the sawmill, so... I don't really see why it would have changed anything. Huh. That's a hard climb. This is why I try to minimize the steep grades. Yeah. And this little bit of track that I'm about to go over, where I tried tying the two in, yeah, it needs to be redone too. That's just so janky. I'm surprised I haven't derailed on that. Coming into the iron mine, Dolan's gonna start slowing down, and uh, we'll get these products offloaded. You can see it's been a while since I've been up here. I don't think we have anything here. I think everything's zeroed out. Is that right? We got two uh, beams. Two beams. <laughs> and no lumber. And how much coal do we have? Or or I we left. 10 ore up here and the last time I was up here. <laughs> so you getting doing a rolling offload? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go slower. There we go. I'll get the beams. The engine shed. Yeah. I wanted to put like a climax or something like that up here as kind of a rescue locomotive. Just never got around to doing it. We could have really used it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but 
That's what it is. All right, we are offloaded. Probably gonna start consuming all that right away and making iron ore for us. Yeah, now we got 35 iron ore and it's still going. So, all right, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, do you guys have any parting words, Dolan? Uh, this will probably be the last episode of that, that I'm in for a while, honestly. Um, for like the three episodes, four episodes I've been a part of, I've actually really enjoyed it here. And I'm looking forward to whenever I get the parts for my PC to join back again and have some fun. Well, we definitely look forward to having you back in the future for sure. And Tidmouth, you got anything to add? Uh, no, really. Just say, uh, thanks for having me. It's been a fun experience. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, so far, we, we... Slightly surreal going from watching something on YouTube to being part of it as well. <laughs> well that's, that's why we built this community, is to have fun. So thank you for joining Discord. And on that note, please, if you haven't done so, head on over to Discord. There's a link in the description below. You are more than welcome to invite. You are more than welcome to be invited there to join the conversation. So, all right, that's going to do it. Thanks again so much, guys, for helping me out tonight. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.